I'm Angie Wong. I'm the uh, writer director of Cardinal X. Okay, so tell us a little bit about Cardinal X and what it's all about. So Cardinal X is a, it's a movie that's inspired by my own personal experiences. It's about a girl, a damaged Asian American girl, kind of from the wrong side of the tracks, who parlays her way to a very prestigious West Coast University. And her demons kind of grab hold of her, and she spirals, and she breaks into organic chemistry lab and mixes up her own 3,4-methyldioxine, methamphetamine, or ecstasy, MDMA, and becomes a dealer. What was the impetus for you to decide to... to uh to create this film, uh, was it uh, was it because of your experience? As you said, it's, it's uh, uh, pretty much uh, uh, based on uh, your life or whatnot. So you know, it's a pretty winding path for me to find um, filmmaking, which is my passion now. Um, you know, I had a successful run in Silicon Valley, and I found myself in a situation where I was like, I don't have to sling hash anymore for a living. This is pretty awesome. Um, I founded a nonprofit because I just I always felt this persistent need to just find some way to give back. Um, and so we work with middle school kids in, uh, in the inner city and we basically do like a process group that allows them to talk about, you know, the very real challenges that are going on in their lives. Um, like, you know, a strung out mom, a dad in jail, a brother who got shot and killed. And I found that, you know, it's, it's horribly taboo to discuss this type of thing, you know. So I found that by telling my own story, it emboldened them to tell theirs and to be able to sort of, you know, face some of the demons that, that, that were haunting them. Were you worried there might be people judge you or you said, you know what, this story has to be told because it will help others that might be on that path or that have parents or brothers or sisters that, that are leading to that path because maybe they might be able to help them out or whatnot? Uh, all of the above. <laughs> definitely all of the above. I mean, there are definitely people who I'm sure are like, who does this bitch think she is, <laughs> you know? Um, and, and, but I think it's important to be honest um, in the storytelling because if you're not going to be honest about it, then just don't do it, you know? And I think that, you know, I'll call bullshit on screen all day long if I see it. And I, I think that, you know, for, for the kids that I'm trying to reach who may be very locked up in a prison of shame, of isolation, um, I think it's important for them to see that and to see someone owning, owning their demons, you know? Um, you have to do that in order to fortify your better angels to shout down the demons. You know, you have to acknowledge them. And then coming from Sil Silicon Valley to, to, doing, to be, becoming a filmmaker, um, what were your challenges of just uh, getting into, into this whole um, career and in industry? Well, I didn't know shit. <laughs> I was like, I'm really not sure how to fucking go about this. Yeah. Oh, is that okay? That's Sorry. Okay. Um, <laughs> I, you know, you, you start at the beginning. And, you know, like the Buddhists say, you have to have the humility to be a beginner. Um, and, I, and I started researching, um, I took a, a screenwriting course, uh, I surrounded myself with people who, um, who were really supportive, who understood the industry, I found mentors. Um, it, it's, you know, it's a challenging field to get into, but you, know, you can do it. If you really love it, you'll do it, you'll find a way to kick the door down, you know, but no one's going to just walk up to you and be like, you look like you should make a movie. You have to really decide, like, this is what I'm fucking doing, and I'm going to kick the door down. Did you have any challenges of like uh, writing and, and just retelling retelling your story as a narrative, and and then bring it on the, onto the screen or whatnot? Yeah, I mean, some of it it's 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 really like thirty years of experience condensed into a one year narrative. Um, you know, for the sake of powerful storytelling, you know, I, I I drew from real events from my life that didn't necessarily happen in that timeline or maybe to that person, but I felt that it was important to tell it from a very authentic emotional place. Right. And then lastly, what do you want to see people get out, out of the film and, and the message? I think the message is that we all really need to fortify our better angels to shout down our demons, especially now at this point in, in, in our, you know, developmental, in our cohesive development. Um, you know, and I think the way to do that is through empathy. You know, I think don't judge people. Don't, you know, don't go to war with people over who they voted for, even though I've been guilty of that. Um, I think that the only way for us to move forward is to find empathy and, and to really highlight the solidarity of the human experience rather than find ways to, you know, hate on other people. Uh, we can be found on Twitter at Cardinal X the Movie. I'm Jade Girl's mom. Um, we're also on Facebook with Cardinal X the Movie and um, I'm Angie Wong on Facebook and I'll probably friend you.